What's good you guys, it's Lifestyle from LifestyleDidit.com and in today's video I'm going to be showing you some tips and tricks to make your trap pie hat sound better. Accent these trap pie hats and different ways to roll them to get them to sound very aggressive on your beats. Let's get into it. Alright, so I have these hi-hats right here, this pattern showing you, and this is the pattern I use for this beat, right? I'm going to show you this, and then I'm going to delete it, and we're going to completely start over from scratch. But I'm going to just kind of show you so you can get an idea for how it's going to sound on this aggressive trap beat. Now one thing I want to really accent and show you guys before I delete it is right here you hear how we have this triple kick and we also have this hi-hat stutter and watch how it makes it sound completely like it stands out you're like whoa what was that compared to if we just did this and then we go back it gives it a whole different vibe and that's just one small thing we're gonna do so let's go ahead and start over now we're gonna go and make this fill each two steps. All right, and we have a simple hi-hat pattern. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over here, I'm gonna put this into third step. We're gonna operate in third and sixth. And there's a ginormous helicopter outside of my house, so hopefully uh, that doesn't distract you guys. So what I like to do is put my rolls on the kick and the snare, okay? So like the downbeats. So if we start over here, I like to have like, let's say a roll right here on this first kick. It just gives it that like vibe that it's taken off and it's hitting harder because these are down beats, right? And then on the snare, when you put it on there as well, it gives it like, you know, there's a and then you can add like a hi-hat roll to it. So if I don't put it right on the kick or right on the snare, I'll put it right after, and that gives it like a running vibe. Like it's going forward, dun, 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 dun. you know, like a horse gallop. If we were to do it like this on all of the second part of the bar, it, it sounds like a horse galloping, right? And if we do it on the first part, it sounds like you're taking off faster, right? So one's taking off faster, one's like a gallop, like a skip. So it kind of depends how the beat is. For this beat, we're gonna do it on the second part. So we're gonna come in here and we're actually gonna do a quick triplet like that. And see how that gives it instead of a uh, vibe like this, like dun dun dun, dun we're gonna go bun dun, and it's gonna be like a little machine gun. And that just kind of gives it, I, I go off of melody. So if the melody's fast, I'm gonna do higher, faster, um, rolls at a higher speed and if the melodies are kind of a little bit slower I'll go ahead and spread these out and I'll you know put spaces in between but for this melody I'm gonna have it go like this and I'm not putting the fourth in because I want it to kind of have that that sound to it that kind of tricks the ear and you're kind of like oh what does that sound like so let's keep going and then right here, we're going to have another pattern that's going to sound like that. So we're going to do a, maybe a four. Because the kick is the down, right? So you hear that the kick goes down. Now what we'll do is throw these on different notes. and Because you can't really hear it too much if you listen to this part. Because there's an open hi-hat. Now if we go like this and give them a couple different notes to play with, you'll hear it better. And then... We'll turn these velocity up just by using alt and the up arrow. Now we have a cool little part right here with the drums. You see how we have a second snare, so it's dun, 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 right? So we're gonna go over here. And then we'll have another one right here, maybe just a two. We'll see how we want it to sound. Or we can go ahead and do like another fast, quick roll. Sometimes I like to go like this and then hold alt and right click or control. Hold on, I completely forgot what it is. Or no, you just right click. So right click from this first note and then drag down like that. So now we have this weird vibe going. So the next thing we're gonna do um, 
actually let's finish this and then we'll do the under so see that hear that 808 right here listen to the 808 where it turns red it's like so we're gonna go and we're gonna put in a little fill right here too to kind of match that and then we'll have it go down and now it's matching with the 808 pattern because it's so I pay attention to all drums and all melodies when I'm making my hi-hats and then we have another kick right here another downbeat so let's go and put a quick little run and then we have a snare downbeat so let's go over here and put another one and then right here we're gonna do like a random quick little triplet and have it go up and then down and then maybe over here we'll do just a little quick run let's see what we like and then that gives it that drag feel that da, 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 and then it comes back in to start over here again so this is kind of what we have right now right and then we're going to duplicate this over there after we do some unders so now what i'm going to do underneath on parts like this and parts like this you see we have a lot of open notes we're going to come over here and do lower notes obviously and we're going to turn down the velocity so i did control click and then alt down arrow and then we're going to turn these down individually so it runs down like this a little bit let's go like that and then we could take this and come put it somewhere else where we see a lot of notes that are just repetitive so maybe we'll go up and listen to how this sounds and it just gives it that wild vibe like if we turn the melodies off you hear how everything's making sense like we have a roll right here that rolls into this clap right here there's a clap on the clap section if you just pay attention to where i put that red part and it fills in and it just gives it a crazy weird vibe and then over here we're going to have the kick right over here we had that triple so we built into the kick and then put one on the down of the kick and then another one on the kick right here so the last thing i like to do is come in here and do accents on the top and these aren't going to be runs these are just going to be accents so it's black like bum tss, bum bum tss, tss, right just little accent notes so let's go ahead and add some of those so i'm going to turn the melodies off i just want to hear the drums and you can hear these are just accents i like to make them louder and then we'll go like So these are all our accents right here. See how it just gives it that boom, boom, boom. This is how you create counter rhythms in your hi-hats. And I feel like this isn't talked about a lot. So a lot of questions I get about my hi-hats, I'm thinking of rhythm and I'm doing counter rhythms. So we had a main rhythm right through here. Then we do counters down here, and then we do simple counter rhythms on the top note. So it's just boom, tap, do, tap, ba, right? <laughs> if you just listen to it right here. Dun, dun, dun. And then when you bring in the melodies, and then we can maybe bring this velocity back down a tiny bit for these ones. And then another trick I always show that some people don't know is duplicate your hi-hat sometimes this works um control c control v and we'll call this hi-hat gross we're gonna bring it into the mixer and we're gonna put gross beat on it and this is gonna sound really weird to do but it'll sound cool 
So let's go with either halftime or like a random switch up and let's just listen to it. And let's put it with our normal hi-hat. And then EQ so it doesn't clash. And then we'll pan it this way. And it just gives it a weird vibe. Maybe we could take the hi-hat out and just have the gross play on a different part. Like maybe the verse. You can mess around with this, get crazy with the... So many different options. And if we had it playing with this. Just gives it a really cool, weird vibe. And then maybe, I don't know, on this you can put some reverb. Short decay. Take out the high end and dampen it a bit. And now you have this weird hi-hat in the back. Just another effect, you know? That sounds really cool, actually. Something you wouldn't really hear too much. So those are my tips for making your trap hi-hat sound a lot more interesting, better, and just crazy in general. If you guys did like this video, leave a thumbs up. You can follow me on all social medias at Lifestyle Did It. Make sure to hit my website, lifestyledid.com, for everything else. Other than that, as always, subscribe to your boy.